Victor Bob, the remix launches here in Ottawa for the first time ever as Kevin Bennett, who's appeared in Smash Wrestling FLQ, makes his C4 debut against Born and Bred for Combat, Stu Grayson. And in any other night, I would say Kevin Bennett has a fighting chance, but against somebody of the caliber of a Stu Grayson, I don't know, that, that is a big, big hill to climb. Grayson originally supposed to be in a fatal four-way for the underground title, but the car change was prompted to seek out some singles action. And man, I know that guy is just happy and willing to fight anybody. You put him in any sort of a matchup, it might not be for the championship, but he's gonna want to destroy somebody like a Kevin Bennett. Bennett with a chip on his shoulder. This man is a legitimate rap artist and he has sold out venues. He comes here to prove that he is a multifaceted athlete and rapper and entertainer. One of the many prodigies of Pepper Parks. The Buffalo Invasion strong here tonight, Dr. Bob. You talk to people in the know, people who have their eye on the indie scene. Wow! I have never seen that! Slingshot Santon on the apron. If you miss Joe Shot by even a centimeter, you're gonna come crushing that heart on the floor. Big cross body. Only gets two. Kevin Bennett had a little bit of offense at the beginning. I do give him that. But you're against Mr. Born and Bred for combat. You have to bring some sort of a new gear in. You have to bring out the best you have to fight against this monster in the ring. One of the staples of C4 Wrestling, Stu Grayson. Bennett wants to make an impression. Better opportunity. Nice, slides down. Slingshot of his own. Spins around, lands right on top of Grayson, only gets two. Some fancy offense, but he doesn't really get that much of a height on there. It's a little bit to trip you up. Not enough to keep somebody like Stu Grayson down. You're gonna do a lot more than that, kid. Grayson resists. Out of me, imagine what this could mean for the career of Kevin Zane if he could beat one of the best in Canada, in fact, one of the best in the entire world. Yo! And he's up just like that! How do you fight a man like Stu Grayson? He can do it all! You are like a boat! Trying to fight off the tide in an ever flowing, ever changing, dangerous sea. You just kind of have to survive it. One thing I want to point out to you, Dr. Bob, Stu Grace has had a few setbacks this season. What the? Big moonsault from Bennett. On a bit of a losing skid is Grayson. Are you going to want to tell him that? I regret saying it. Don't tell him. And what I was trying to say, too, before that, fanciful moves and flying of Stu Grayson was that what if, what if Kevin Bennett could score the win here? That would propel him. And the rankings here at C4 and make a name for himself all across Canada. He certainly has the tools to give him a fight. I just don't know if it's gonna be enough. Grayson powers Bennett in. Bennett comes right at Grayson. Has to surprise him with some maneuvers to try to get the pinfall here. I think that's wasting time. Well, I think he's, uh, I think he's uh, trying to get his air back here too. 
You try fighting Stu Grayson for five, ten minutes here, it's, it's going to be quite a cardio exercise for you to try to keep up. Grayson slides off, goes for the body, then goes to the face of Bennett. Yuranagi! Oh, caught him right in the chin! Picturesque! You could have framed that one, folks. Wasn't enough, though, for the pin. Some flashy moonsaults in this matchup. Stu Grayson not able to put away Bennett, though, that big acai. Yeah. Rabbit here tonight, and for good reason. C4 bringing the goods. We still got some ways to go as well. Left oh. some up. No! No! How's that not a three? Stu Grayson's face says it all. It tells a story. Look at it. He is in shock and in disbelief. Hoisted Bennett up onto his shoulder, slammed him down. Remix hanging on. What else does Stu Grayson have to do here? I didn't give Bennett enough credit, I've got to tell you. The man has brought it all. He's here to fight. Jumps over Bennett. Oh. This is the Pele. I've barely ever seen Stu Grayson miss the Pele. Twisting suplex, almost a brain buster. Bennett, wow, spun around. That could be it. What a surprise, what a shot that would have been, but Bennett proving that he's getting closer and closer to the possibility of beating Stu Grayson here tonight. Continue the momentum. I mean, what does uh, I think you answer part of that, but what does Kevin Bennett have to do to try to score the huge upset here? He can't give Grayson opportunities like this. Can't let Grayson, former C4 champion, former tag team champion, landing on his feet. Can't let him get his second win. Oh! Double under hook turns it into a backbreaker and keeps up the offense. Bennett can feel it. With every single close call, Bennett is gaining more and more confidence here. He is so close. Remember, folks, Stu Grayson is just one bay breaker away from breaking your back and getting the win. Slowly pulls Grayson up. Bennett gonna go for a superplex. Very dangerous here. Could spell the end for either of these two competitors. Grayson cuts him off with a jumping kick. out of the way, well, twice. Once, but twice. Beautiful flying cutter. No! Almost enough! Could we see the upset of 2019 here with Kevin Bennett scoring the pinball over one of the longest reigning C4 champions, one of the most dominant men in the history of this company, Stu 
Grayson. Firing off the heavy artillery. Grayson able to dig deep time and time again. What else you got, Bennett? Too much time, Kevin Bennett, taking too much time. Grayson finds the knee to the head. Oh. Knee to the face. Not going to miss it twice. Your winner, Stu Grayson, but Kevin Bennett, if you don't know, now you know. compared to what we just saw. It's a sexy dance party. I don't think I've ever commentated at a dance party. Shades of Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley from Saturday Night Live. Pop and Sexy Eddie. Which one's which? I'll let you figure that one out. Hey, Dr. Bob, what kind of job do you have? I got an office job, Adam! What's going on? You probably should ask me in there. <laughs> Dr. Bob, I've called NW, an NWA title match. I've called Ultimate Dragon, Rey Mysterio. What the hell? And it looks like the sexy dance party has just been crashed. Let's hope it was on a hiatus there and not ended. I thought the crowd was enjoying that one. 
And there's the party pooper himself, pretty Ricky Wildy. And who can remember the image's last show of pretty Ricky biting? You know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. Never mind. Just buy the DVD. Go check it out on IWTV. Pretty Ricky in the past has had his issues with Puff. It's now focused on Sexy Eddie. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shenanigans, I say. What in the hell are you two doing here? I have been working my entire life to be a professional wrestler, and you two are over here disgracing this canvas. Just having a good time.
Bush just keeps getting crazier and crazier, folks. I guess after all that, we have a, we have a tag team match. And we got a rip out, makes it official. Pretty Ricky and the hot stepper going against Sexy Eddie and Puff. Ricky still got his glasses on. Dr. Bob, Pretty Ricky just seems to be in the weirdest tag team matches I've found as a professional wrestling commentator. He choo choo choos along to those clotheslines. Chaga 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 chaga. He still got his eyes. And just like how sexy Eddie took Puff under his wing, pretty Ricky trying to do the same with the hot stepper. He's looking around, trying to find out who. Whoa. Ricky not doing too, too well right now. I remember Dr. Baba was the last underground event where Puff defeated the hot stepper. But I'm sure that hasn't sat under his skin very well. Hips up, the athleticism. Oh, what a mock and a puff. He just out puff puff. We've seen this before. <laughs> Referee. John Mark put out of the way for a second and to the advantage of this makeshift team. Eddie and his uh, protege. Puff has lost the crop, by the way. He's wrestling in Crocs. A Croc, singular. Pretty Ricky and the hot stuff, but pretty hot. Very, uh, very 1990s WCW there, Dr. Bob. <laughs> and we are watching some big boys play. Some disorderly conduct here from Puff using the shoe. at this point in the night, did you, did you not watch the last match? Oh! <laughs> well, nobody likes Crocs, but especially Pretty Ricky at this point. Oh, they're winding up. Yikes. I think he needs to tag at him. That, that'd be a good, that'd be a good assumption. A crop goes flying into the ring. Sorry, outside of the ring. Puff getting back in him. Some uh, innovative tag team offense. The wheel. Sexy Eddie and Puff have had a lot of success though in C4. They hold a pinfall victory over the former multi-time C4 Tag Team Champions Fighter Flight. And a swinging X Factor. Almost. Ricky would love to get in the win here. He took offense personally to the dancing and the shenanigans of Puff and Eddie. 
Hot Stepper's got a score to settle with Puff. And I, I don't even know what uh, to call what Pretty Ricky wants to settle with Sexy Eddie. Puff is not the legal man in. <laughs> oh! Going Tiger Mask is the hot stepper. Oh, don't, don't. Signaling for yet another bit of offense here is dance fighting. Uh oh, I don't think he's watched some tape. Stepping too good tonight after that one. In comes Pretty Ricky. Is he trying to wedge you? No. Now trying to put the lip lock. Kobashi Kensuke Sasaki has nothing on this. Strong style lip blocks! The king of smooch style, pretty Ricky, just overwhelming Sexy Eddie. Ricky gaining a little momentum. Not wanting to be left out of the fun. Now a wedgie. Ricky looking a little less pretty as the match goes on here. Put him down. Put him down. That's yeah. some chain right there. Oh, he's got that gold bond, brother. NWA title match, I've got Ultimo Dragon. Is this not an NWA title match? Sorry, I got confused. Rey Mysterio, and you know, this. <laughs> so I thought I was watching Fazzle Connor in here. <laughs> Pretty Ricky goes to the back, leaving the hot stepper alone. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. And he ducks the line, sends him into the punch of Puff. Ricky rams the door into the stomach of Eddie. And, and that door's got his entire face painted on his entire body. And into the face. Not the turn I expected this match to take, Dr. Bob. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, I guess he's turning the other cheek. Eddie has the door set up. And now distracting Pretty Ricky with his own appearance. Well, a rendition of his appearance. Lex Luger, eat your heart out. The narcissist is Pretty Ricky. Asking for silence.
I think I saw Farmer Burns do this. Who would have thought they'd see Nikki Nikki Nindor <laughs> here tonight? <laughs> I give up, Dr. Bob. I give up. I give up. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Shark, land shark. Hot stepper explaining the most simple thing to do. Oh, come on. Excellent execution of the spinning door hold. Where's Drew Carey during the buzzer right now? <laughs> that is moments of my life I will never get back to. <laughs> and the door stays in peace. Oh my. children spins them around and around and around hot oh, stepper stuck underneath the door not a good position for him to be in uh -oh. Uh -oh. why why i don't know why i'm asking why right now but why <laughs> the humanity Signed, sealed, door delivered. <laughs> that one was for you, Pat. It's your birthday. I gave you what you wanted, brother. Single showdown here. A young man who we saw debut in C4 back at our CG finale at point break. Returns here tonight for the big anniversary show. I'm referring to Red Death, Daniel Garcia, a kid that's been making waves everywhere he's gone, Dr. Bob. Taking on one of the biggest names in the history of C4 wrestling. Garcia has to be on his A game and then some to take on Evil Luna. This is a handicap matchup, but it might as well be. 
That is evil Una that you're facing across on the right. And Red Death himself shows absolutely no fear. He's staring at the epitome of evil in the face and is not budging an inch. Look at Garcia. Only 20 years old, Dr. Bob. Already so much experience in these young men. Of course, an appearance on 205 Live as well. I've seen this kid come be here in Ottawa, Montreal. He's going to be so all over the stage. Part of the uh, Buffalo boys that we were talking about before the show started. Trained by Pepper Parks, one of his, I would say, star pupils. Woo! Garcia, no, Luma, Mikey. Will not be intimidated. He likes to have that intimidation factor over his opponents, but Daniel Garcia, as cold as Team Malenko is. <laughs> 20 years old, I call him a wonder kid. I don't want to take him up for Alex <laughs> Jesus. Turn your mic off. Okay. You threw the beam of Lego a second ago. Wow. Shoulder blocks. Shoulder blocks. his feet, not for long. Clear size advantage for Evo Uno, but Garcia recovers quickly. Oh, you said that 70 to 80 pound size advantage. Well, look at Garcia gets knocked down and right back up on his feet again. Garcia just this demeanor on his face and scowls as he engages Ivaluto yet again. He whips him off the ropes. Here comes Garcia. Knocks the big man down. There's Ivaluto. No, drops down. Garcia off the ropes. He's going for it. Likes to use a sharpshooter. Ivaluto goes for the eyes. That death shooter that's uh, won him a lot, a lot of victories in his young career. Hooked it in. A little bit early in the matchup Ooh. to go for it though. Slap to the face. Garcia just takes it one of his own. Garcia unloading. What he's well known for. Heavy hands, lots of strikes. Wow. Takes him down, hooks the leg. What a surprising win that would have been, Adam B. Evil Uno's had some mixed success and really goes to this season. Defeated Sunny Kiss back in September. Lost to Colt Cabana. Oh, oh Adam caught him. It. That vintage Evil Uno. Well done by Garcia now. Trips him up. Go for the death shooter. Second time here, folks. Takes him over. Has it locked We're on. Too close to the ropes, however. Serge St. Denis calls for the count. Let's go, Uno goes to the floor. Giving him a little bit of space. I don't know if you guys were here, see him. Giving him a little time to recover. Evil Uno cutting off Garcia's momentum. What Escapes like, up to the ring. But what I like about Daniel Garcia, he has taken no seconds here to talk, no seconds to take his eyes off the mat. He is concentrated. He's cut him off at the pass. Oh! Big chop by Garcia, Red Death unloading. Hey, somebody send that clip to Pepper Parks. He's gonna be a proud papa. Yo! <laughs> Case in point, no. Uno missed his chop. I think Red Death is about the, the chest color he's got there. Well, tonight is Red Death Redemption. Garcia unsuccessful in his first C4 out. He wants to redeem himself here against Evil Uno. You turn your mic on. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Folks, don't adjust your set. That has not been bumped up for a fans here. Just the intensity and tenacity of Daniel Garcia. This is Daniel Garcia's biggest match ever here in C4. He's going to make the most of it, folks. He didn't drive all the way from Buffalo just to put on a show. He wants a win here. Oh! Drops him down over the middle rope, especially considering a win over a guy like Evil Uno. That propels you right off the ranks. If you can withstand that chop. Goes for the back, scratches it. First time matchup between Evil Uno and Daniel Garcia. Oh! Bringing it. Man, I know I'm supposed to call this out, but I just want to scream through these chops. These are some vicious strikes. But to his credit, the youngin has not backed down. 
toe-to-toe, -to -toe, chop for chop with Evil Uno. Uno's got the no, search safe the knee with the count yet again, let's go. Oh. Wow. Reminds me a lot of Mike Bailey and Kevin Steen. There's another throwback for you. Night full of nostalgia, but looking at building all these new stars we have here on the card. Two, three. A look to the past, a look to the future. C4 wearing good hands. The young guys like Daniel Garcia. Udo went for the fingers. Just dissecting Garcia. Drops the elbow. Now Evil Udo taking the tension off the Red Death and focusing on the crowd. Not a good call on Uno's part. A veteran like him should know a little better. We're now bringing Garcia around. A man of the people bringing it to the fence. It's that old Lacroix line, MB. This match has been brought to you by the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, because we can't see shit. I love you, Lacko. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace, my friend. Garcia dazed in the corner, Evil Uno back in the ring. If I was Daniel Garcia, I would move. That is a precarious position that he's in. Like fish in a barrel, and Uno's got a shotgun here. <laughs> Bows to the crowd. So much to stand for, this crowd, he hates him with every bit. Garcia, though. Using that, that speed advantage. Jumps over, takes Uno over. Sunset flip, only gets two. Lines up, catches him with the punch. Garcia off the rope, stops. That's clobbered, but still somewhat on one knee. Come down from Uno. Red Death hasn't died yet. The man's still got a little breath left in him. We'll have to see after this. Yo, no, Garcia has scouted yet again. Catches Uno. Oh! Catch him with a kick off the ropes. Avoided the something evil. Oh! Explode him! Garcia has to capitalize. Don't waste this opportunity, Garcia. John Wu. Drop kick right into the corner. Evil Uno collapses, goes for the pin. No. Out of one, an upset that would have been. Absolutely, how fitting that a John Wu be on a show called Hard Target. A Kurt Van Dam movie, man. Look at Daniel Garcia, that is a man possessed. Every single fiber of that athlete is in this one to win it here. Oh. rocked again and again. How much is Garcia going to be able to take here? Ducks under. Get that! No! combination. Rams the knees, pinpoints them. Garcia not done. What's he going for here, Dr. Bob? Oh, oh splash! What up, Eddie Guerrero? Two, no! Was that a three? Pays the tribute to the legendary Eddie Guerrero with the frog splash. Unlike Eddie Guerrero, though, didn't get the win off that frog splash, but that was two and nine tenths. Garcia just has to keep on, and he's got Uno surprisingly on the defensive right now. Don't let the man up, don't give him any space. Uno, Uno a little bit of a rookie mistake. Not able to get to his feet. Wasting some time. Giving Garcia no pump kick. Now, if you think Garcia had some nice aerial moves, check out this.
Oh! Hey, good night! That's it, that's no! Lifts him up. Oh, Ray Buster! Sheer Brain Buster! Sheer drop! Doesn't hook the leg, though! Adam, that was a mistake. He only had half his body weight on his shoulders and his chest. Garcia having his coming out party here in Ottawa. Bites the fingers. Daniel Garcia, if you didn't know this name before, folks, now you know. Making a name for himself tonight. He would have that much bigger a name if he was able to cinch the win here today against Evil Uno. Oh, snaps the nose. Snap the nose of Garcia. Evil Uno now. And a phrase set from Pearson. Gonna go for something new. There's Garcia, pump kick caught him right in the face. A lot of success so far with the kicks. We'll see what it takes to finish off Evil Uno. Could be Garcia's last chance. Headbutt from Evil Uno. Another! Garcia Next up again. Spot up to the top. Garcia's got him hooked. Superplex! Oh! Make yourself famous, kid! Death, Death shooter. shooter! Death Shooter! No! Fights him off, boots to the face from Uno. Through, hooks the legs. No, oh, that was close. 2.999. Guys, if you're watching this on DVD, if you're watching on streaming services, listen to this crowd. Absolutely electric here, a hard target. You know, shoves him off, catches Garcia right in the face. Hooks him though, lifts him up, can go for a pile driver, Garcia puts him over. Goes for the death shooter again. Who knows got three that options. In the middle of the ring. Perfect out. positioning. Pass out or tap out. Will he submit even Uno? Uno can't reach the ropes. Look at the angle. Look at the angle he's got. He's got the nose, he's got the nose again. Garcia was so close. That's the most out of breath there. I've been screaming, I've been shouting, I've been invested in this one. Daniel Garcia was near inches away from defeating Evil Uno, the biggest win of his entire career. Cranked back on that death shooter. Evil Uno able to grab the nose. This is the best wrestling in Ottawa for the last 11 years, folks. Catches him again and again, Garcia. Blow. Still on his feet. What is it gonna take? Backs him up to the corner. Garcia will not be denied. Boot right to the face, drops Garcia finally. He's not on his back yet, Adam. He just spat in the man's face. We don't know, backing away from Garcia. Serge St. Denis in the way. Oh, come on. Come on. Hooks him up. Something evil. And evil Uno folks. is gonna steal this. A disappointing finish, but what a match here at Hard Target. What an impressive showing from Daniel Garcia. Came so close to scoring the huge upset here tonight. But it was the evil ways of Evil Uno paid off yet again. My God, what a match. And we're barely getting started.
Dr. Bob, here we go, our first title match of the evening, and try explaining the rules of this one. <laughs> Easy, I'll do it, I'll do it. Six man drills match, tornado, that means all opponents can be in the ring at the same time. If a champion, either the tag team champions or the underground champion gets the pin, their opponents, the other tag team or singles opponent will not have a title shot for the next six months. However, on the other side, if the challenger wins their respective title, they are the new champion here tonight. All right, somebody give me a drink. Very well done, Doctor. Interesting little things going into this matchup. Jonathan Rukin, his first match back since an injury suffered in September. I had the pleasure of calling a matchup with him, and let me tell you, he wanted to get back in that ring. He wanted to get back to defending his championship. Nope, not enough. But on the challenger side, Thomas Dubois just coming back from a concussion. Uh, I guess they're about even here. Oh, TDT running over the tag team champions with spears. I would be remiss if I were not to mention Matthew St. Jacques' track record against Kobe Durst in title matches. St. Jacques bombs away on the underground champion. Tornado tag team, as I said, means no attack needed. And I don't know who that gives the advantage to here. I want to say the rough and tumble wrestlers of TDT, but who knows? Super kick from Angel. No stranger to TDT either. Oh, no sir, They've got a story history. And think about Kobe Durst and Matthew St. Jacques as well. Those violent views we'd had at C4. Oh, catches it. Angel and Durst beating on Blackwood in the corner. Moves out of the way, kick to the face of Durst. Back to the wrestling. Overhead, belly to belly, tossed him into his opponent. Oh, oh. spikes him. Blackwood won that four way. Against Frank Milano, Kevin Blanchard, and Holden Albright to challenge the Underground Championship. Looking to make history as the first American C4 champion. A rear naked choke applied by Rukin. That might be enough. He's finished off a lot of his bonus, but now in a pinning attempt. Rolled over. Had his shoulders down. Fast press. 
Oh, and some nasty ground and pound. That's a traditional set from Seth Press as well. Looking for the cross arm breaker, TDT. So they're doing well right now with the submissions, but unfortunately the submission game of a Jonathan Rukin is not going to be to his advantage. Too many opponents to try to break him out. Much more adept at a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Angel has the game team choke on St. Jacques. But it could be the end if all three tap there. Oh, wait a minute. Blackwood reversing on Rukin. Oh! oh. Four reversals. Everybody's reversed. Fleur de Lee applied on St. Jacques. Cross, Cross base on Kobe. left in the ring, champions on the floor. Champions and challengers going on for a head-on collision. Whoa! Oh, what the hell? I didn't see you got the worst lap, but I'm gonna assume it's Durst. That's how it usually goes. Murphy's Law, I call it Durst Law. <laughs> and unkillable, Kevin Blackwood living up to his name here. Using his body as a projectile, his body as a weapon. Feel a little obstructed fans, we're gonna try and keep up with this. Oh, Kobe Durst, oh, Angel. Kobe Durst, they're an angel in the ring. We've seen this before. Piggyback, Suicida! The unlikely tag team champions, Matt Angel and Kobe Durst. Bitter enemies, better friends, I guess. Speaking Something of bitter enemies, never gonna be friends. Matt Angel and Kobe Durst. Sage, I mean, sorry, Matthew Saint Jacques, Kobe Durst. Yes, sir. Saint Jacques up top, going to the body of Angel. Oh, that's a bar. Kick to the face, gonna look for falling Angel. Hits it. That's a Durst up. Ram jam. That's it. Go for the pin. Double stop. Breaks it up. Look at this crowd, everybody's standing. Blackwood shoves off Durst. High kick by Blackwood. Thumbs him on his head with a German suplex. Rukin breaks free, a running uppercut to Blackwood. Rukin looking sharp in his big return match. Not showing any ring rust. The jam to spine there, or his tailbone. Angel powered up, now Durst powered up. Two for the price of one, no! Oh. Double super kicks. Sends the pipes out. And think about it, ladies and gentlemen. TDT faced off against Cody and MJF. Turned him into a double DQ or a no contest rather. They would love to win the Tag Team Championships here though tonight. Pulls in the champions. Weren't successful in the shot. biggest match of their career, but they want the titles back here. Double DDTs, Dubois goes up top. What's he going for Anna? Moon Salt Machine! They cover! No! So close! Almost crowned the new champions! I 
And the plaid comes off. Time for business. C4's most oh, oh, oh. ever. It's feeling it. And they're getting some blood here. A door comes into play. I don't know why they're chanting for the door. It's here. Oh, wait, Angel on the chair. Durst down with a chair. Yikes. The last year in a bed, Matt Angel embracing a more violent, hardcore side. It's the cutter on Blackwood. Acai on Blackwood. Blackwood taking a beating here. Jack knife. They've singled out the odd man out here. Champions looking good now. Blackwood up top, TDT nowhere to be found. Taking on the only man in this six-man matchup who's not won gold here in C4. I guess they decided that he's easy pickings. The underground number one contender. What the hell? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I didn't know they taught this at Shudokan. Oh! <laughs> TDT with the chairs. Are we getting paid for this? Get some sponsorship. Catches Blackwood. <laughs> and it looks like. Jonathan Rukin maybe going back on injured reserve. What a way to lose his championship in a six-way tag match. Oh, oh, oh my it's God. Why? Why? Do it again. Do it again. Oh, no. That's it. That's it. It is. What? Kevin Blackwood makes history here tonight at Combat Shock, the first ever American C4 champion winning the Underground Championship. TDT back on top of the Tag Team Mountain. What a moment here, wow! Simpsons fan, but the fact that Danhausen is hailing from this Bruce Moose 
as a Simpsons nerd, makes me extremely giddy. The spruce moves. We've got airplanes. It's not just an airplane, Dr. Bob. That's the spruce moose. Hop in. Sure. I said hop in. Kevin does not want to play. You've seen them battling online with promos and videos to each other. Kevin yeah. Bennett is not here to have fun. Dan Elson, I'm not quite sure we'll go through his mind. We talk about Junior Benito and Josh Alexander being a tricky matchup on tonight's card. How about Dan Housen and Kevin Bennett? Bennett's had his problems recently with James Stone. Stone not here tonight. I was talking to him earlier. Bennett he wants a mic. He can't wait to get his hands on Kevin Bennett. Danhausen's still wearing that hat housing. That's 
Scoop Flanhausen and Pinhausen. How many, how many we still get Butthausen? I need to pin my belt so I can inform my Househausen. Bennett just standing on his throat, it looked like. Up to a five count. Really working on the rest count there. Saying easy work. Off the ropes comes Bennett Remix. Corner, but that rocked him just as hard, it looks like. Desperation for Dan House and had to do what he had to do. Yeah! Catch that goes to the outside. It's been the solar plexus over in German suplex. Yes! Knocked out a few of his own teeth too. Only good enough for two. Back and forth, this match is gone. No man has been a clear, had a clear advantage so far. I don't think the psychological mind games of Dan Housen have been giving a bit, a little bit of the advantage so far. Bennett with the underhook. Not enough. Kevin Bennett, like I said, time and time again, knocked him off. He feels slighted. He's got a chip on his shoulder thinking that a lot of people look past him. Just look at the Blackwoods, the Garcias, the Pop. One of the lesser talked about Buffalo Boys, unfortunately. And last time he was here, he faced off against Junior Benito. And Junior was definitely the crowd favorite. Yakuza kick, ducks under, powers him up. Right in the mush! That's it! I go to sleep, not enough! And picks up his exhausted opponent right now, and Kevin Bennett looking like he's on spaghetti legs. Dan Housen him out more than anything. Climbs up. Now just throwing the classic punches in the corner. Did Kevin Bennett try slapping his belly? <laughs> Jump slam! <laughs> Kane jokes on. Bit of a weird angle for Dan Housen. Yeah, where's he gonna go with this? Oh, putting elbows into his forearm. Dan Housen holding on. Biting away. Oh, crashes down. Here comes Bennett! Oh. And that beautiful and That's corner. gonna do it! Oh. No. No. Jumped up to the heavens and caught that out with such precision, but it was not enough! What more does Kevin Bennett have to pull out of his bag of tricks to finish this matchup? No!
Powers up Dan Housen. Reverse. Oh, spikes him. Dan Housen covers, gets it. show comes to its end with this big time man and man dr bobby can feel the intensity the energy already we haven't even had the opening bell adam b you literal encyclopedia of wrestling give the fans a little background as to why daniel garcia is standing across the ring here right now for the c4 championship daniel garcia back at fighting back back in august won the fighting back rumble first ever American to win the Rumble, winning the Fighting Back Championship, which also guaranteed him a future shot at the C4 title. Garcia unable to be here in September due to evolve commitments. Had a killer match against Aiden Prince Lasso, and now is getting his opportunity, his shot here tonight to close out the 2019 year of C4 Wrestling, winning the championship. Kevin Blackwood in history is the first American champion winning the other ground championship earlier tonight. And Garcia bring another C4 title home to Buffalo. Well said, well stated, a history lesson here. And look at this collar and elbow tie up. Two bulls jockeying for position here. And did you see what Josh Allen had to start of the matchup? I actually really appreciated that. Garcia was coming in, full head of steam trying to go in. Alexander almost just stopped, waved it off. He will wrestle at his own pace. He will wrestle at his advantage. Not Daniel Garcia's game here. Alexander, 2019 in C4, winning the C4 title in triple threat matchup against Kobe Nurse and Matt Angel. I'm oh, sorry, it was no, sorry, it was just against Matt Angel. That was a, that was a later on match. Defeated Matt Angel. Will he end 2019 still the C4 champion? These shots, these kicks, these elbows, these forearms. Look at that speed, look at the ferocity and intensity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is C4. This is for the C4 championship, and this is the main event of our season 12 ender here. Kick to the stomach, pounds the back. Alexander right back on Garcia. A club and a side headlock, just that alone, so efficient. Look at him wrench on. Walking weapon, well he's a tool in itself as well. He is a wrench, he's just absolutely, oh! Woo! I didn't know I was going for a train of thought there, but he just hits him down with a slam. Back to the side headlock. 
Think about Daniel Garcia coming into C4. Unfortunately, had to take some time away to do that uh, unfortunate car accident, but came back and looked as better as ever. How do you improve after a car crash? My goodness, freak of nature is Daniel Garcia and all those Buffalo boys. Oh, 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 oh! I don't know if you want to do it. I got Josh Alexander taunt to tap his head. Garcia feels that it's his night tonight. He's got his legs. Great fight. Doesn't really have control over the arm, though. So it's not as harmful as he could if he had great fight. Perhaps his arm or got him across the jaw with a cross face. More trying to find a position. Alexander letting Garcia know exactly what he thinks about him. Chop to the chest. Nope. I mean, Dale Garcia, a very capable striker, but Alexander brings striking to a whole different round. Alexander's in a class of his own. Oh! Oh! Was that a gunshot here? And school's now in session. I thought we were out of Vanier. Hey, oh. Back to the shots here. Oh! Ooh. Cross body to the ah! back. Oh! You see the one Garcia collided with the floor. There's that little movement. There was a little move there that I think a lot of fans might have missed. But he draped his head over the wrap rope and snapped his head, face, and neck across the fat. Folks down first end of the cable underneath there. And then he followed up, of course, with a whiplash effect of a crossbody to the back of the head and neck. Everything he does is so deliberate. Everything he does is so painful for his opponents. A Buffalo invasion's been the story in C4 for quite some time. Ken Garcia capped off by winning the big one. Against almost any other opponent, I would say, yes, he has a strong chance. But this is Josh Alexander. This is Whoa. arguably the best wrestler in all of Canada. Arguably one of the best wrestlers in the entire world. You have got to bring your game up to a superhuman next level to try to match up one-on-one -on -one with the walking weapon, our C4 champion. Think of all the great matches Alexander's had in the history of C4. Got Trent out of the... Oh! Oh! Stopped him, dropped down. I think he was trying to sprawl on him. Garcia too fast. Oh! <laughs> Thought he was going for a regal plex. Catches the backbreaker, goes for the pit. He was shocked by Garcia's offense, but recovered very quickly, very efficiently at him. Takes him right in the back. Drops the knee. Checking for teeth, checking for blood is Daniel Garcia. Yes, he's motioned several times to his nose and mouth. When you get hit that hard, it is a miracle that you're not bleeding. Oh! Oh, nice. geez, rough knee to the side of the head. Garcia in a lot of trouble. Extreme defensive early. Goes to the knee. Tried playing one out of the Antonio Inuki playbook. They work hard, hitting him often. Alexander's got a game plan here, and he is performing. Oh. He's been taunting Daniel Garcia for the last few weeks online if you followed any of their interactions and he's been warning him, threatening him that he's going to chop him. Folks, let me tell you there's a lot more left for the rest of this matchup in terms of chops. After tonight you may see this matchup everywhere. Hundred times over, but you're seeing it here first in C4. 
What's his nickname, Adam B? Red Death. Watch, watch the color of his chest by the end of this matchup. Oh, yikes. These knee shivers, these knee strikes, not delivered at full force. Have to taunt him and have to hurt him here. Watch the face of Garcia. Oh! Did you see who that was aimed at? His Buffalo brothers, Blackwood and Puff. More taunting. More words spoken between the two groups here. Oh, well, by groups, I mean Alexander versus all of Buffalo, I guess. He'll take on the whole city, he doesn't care. Ohio versus everybody. <laughs> Buffalo versus Alexander. Puff and Blackwood, I didn't notice them there before, but they are incensed. They're supporting their brother in arms. Little old violence party out of me. Garcia now charging in. Alexander boots to the face, ducks oh, under. Man. Saido ah! on his head. He dumped him on his head. Ah! Oh. Dr. Bob, I notice. I can only really see Blackwood and Puff. Goodness, poking him. Look, it's not just across his chest, Adam. He's draping it across his neck. Spins him around. Guilty. D and Team Choke. Powers him up. Goes behind. Oh, we're oh. naked. To the rope. Does he have the rope? I don't know. If he does, the ref should be calling this right now. Holding on, Alexander stops the foot of Garcia. Last some of the rope. Ah! Sends him off. No! A Garcia trademark. I thought for a second Alexander was gonna pop up to his feet, but no. John Woo dropkick, a shotgun hey, dropkick right in the corner. Alexander keeps on getting oh. up. Keeps on moving forward. No. Kicks out right at two and a half. That's all these two guys have to do. Just move forward, Just keep going. Well, think about that, two immovable objects, two irresistible forces just heading towards each other at full speed. You're gonna crash at one point, and these two men have been on a collision course for months. This is what we're seeing, and it's all for the richest prize in the land, the C4 Championship here. Ohio versus everything, Buffalo versus Alexander. Who will win? Daniel Garcia, Josh Alexander, it is a battle of wills, just as match as strength and skill here. <laughs> Garcia right back on top of Alexander. <laughs> oh, underhooks him. Grabs a butterfly. Grabs a double underhook DDT. Oh! oh! In the corner. Butterfly suplex! <laughs> Only gets two. Cross face. Yeah, let me know, man. Can't see from yeah. the vantage point, Adam B, but I think he's got the leg right by near hook across his legs, or his arm rather. But he's lost the positioning right now. Alexander back on his feet. And that's a problem you have trying that move against a stronger and taller opponent. Chris Rolls him back. No. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. No. Spiked him on the knee. Goes for the pin. Not one of the most brutally hellacious matches not involving weapons, not involving outside interference or any sort, just mono e mono. 
What a battle we are seeing here. Got the ankle lock applied. Oh, wrenching it at a disgusting angle. Garcia's got that three options. Lights out over onto his back. Alexander's not off his legs though. Oh. That is why Josh Alexander is so good. Switches up. Moves from move after move. That's exactly what he wants to do. Knows exactly how to counter and will not stop. What is going on? Garcia just staring a hole through him. Oh, slapped across the Daring face. him. Garcia not back to hell though. Takes a slap to the face, throws a chop to the chest. Funny how that works out. Dr. Bob, is this St. Anthony's Banquet Hall or is this Curtin yes, Hall? <laughs> I didn't mean to call the Coliseum at this point. Two gladiators fighting it out in here. I know why they call it Canadian Strong Style. Ah, oh, Faked out, Garcia. Oh, plants him on his head. That's it! What a matchup it was, Adam B. No! Not done yet. Not no, done yet. no! He kicked out! Look at the frustration on Josh's face. So composed to see such a scientific wrestler as he, or a cerebral wrestler. But he is flustered right now. He has met his match, he has met his even here in Daniel Garcia. We've seen it plenty of times, Dr. Bob, is that Alexander has so many ways he can beat you. He can tombstone you, he can just elbow you in the face. Oh, I almost puked on that one. That was disgustingly loud into the back. Garcia, he survived the under a pile driver, but <laughs> still plenty this more is Alexander it. has in his arsenal. Somebody just... The distraction! Oh my, It's the high German angle. suplex. Alexander distracted, Garcia capitalized! The German suplex named after in respect of Carl Gotch. But I don't think Carl Gotch ever threw him like that. Wowza. Good little history lesson there, Doctor. Garcia holding on. Sends him into the top rope. Boot to the face floors Alexander. Max spills out. Yashi! Hey! Alexander spitting water in the face. Water, beer, whatever it was. Hey, I know he's champion, but stepping on the foot multiple times, spitting out a, a, some sort of a liquid here. I don't know if he needs to resort to that. Every single oh. jump and forearm was a thud across the body. Well, remember, Dr. Bob, it was Josh Alexander's first title reign that paved in the no disqualification, no count out here. Ronan rules, not even as Ronan, Josh Alexander. Ronan is a completely different beast, a different animal than the walking weapon. Change up its game so much, became so much more dangerous since that last arc incarnation a few years back. Grabs a hold of Garcia. Oh. Alexander. Black. Yeah, 
Yeah, point to the new underground champion. Will it be a clean sweep of Buffalo challengers? I like this beat to his disadvantage. He's putting so much effort into taunting his opponents. I don't know if this is giving him any sort of an advantage, really. And again. Another hard backbreaker. Oh, Lariat! Lariat! Back up! Oh, oh play him up high angle! Almost got him on his head and his neck! Right up there in Lager Column territory. You know Daniel Garcia, as much as any opponent has ever stepped in the ring, has studied and studied and studied Josh Alexander. The man is a student of the game and he knows everything that Josh is gonna throw at him. Having a plan though is different, of course, as they say. Plans go out the window, so he's gonna punch him in the face here. And whoever knew about a table, a door, whatever we have at this point. Yep, that's a door. Remember you talked earlier about weapons? No, no, I said this was the most violent I match I think I remember without weapons. So this is just going to kick it up another gear. You say a lot of things, Doc, but sometimes it's hard to keep track. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> Okay, nobody listens to me either. Door coming to play it again tonight. Oh, we got a three for one deal here. Paid off in our earlier title match. Underhooking the arms. Al's the back repeatedly. Garcia can feel it. As the champion heard enough to put this one away. Is Alexander perhaps playing a little possum though. Oh. And now Alexander challenging, challenging on Garcia. It's a right strategy for Garcia though to take on the tougher striker. And Alexander entering oh, oh, oh. this matchup with a bicep injury as well. <laughs> My goodness, I completely forgot about that. By the, the ability he's shown here so far, who would have ever thought he came into this injury? It's a great point, Adam B. Oh, boy. Oh. Speaking of good point, Alexander pointing. Garcia in the direction of that door. No, sir. for the belt, that's why. For the damage that's been done with that door. Alexander goes for the ankle lock again. Elevated Garcia up. How's Garcia gonna stand this yet again? Rolls through though. Cross face. Alexander now. Well, I think he rolled over his arm to let him be on the bell lock. Alexander now has those three options. Can't quite see it either way. He's got a, some sort of a cross face over, but no, those are a pinning reversal. Oh, ouch, ouch, the right, the right in the eye, right in the eyes. Go gets caught. Death shooter! Last person to make Josh Alexander submit to C4 ring is about to say Jacques. Submission, Daniel Garcia, the first American to hold the big prize here in C4. And I don't know if I can more eloquently say it then. New champ, new champ, new champ. 
The Buffalo Invasion has claimed the Underground title, the C4 title. What a match. Season 12 has ended with this title change. This changes the entire landscape for season 13, Adam. Fans, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you for supporting us all these many years. We're back in January. Scorpio's returning. Luke Misto, the debut of Brian Pillman Jr. I can't wait. Thank you guys. It's always an absolute honor. For my partner, Dr. Bob, is that me? We're out. <laughs>